Danny Minogue has shared her thoughts after the sudden death of Shane Warren at age 52 on Friday. Pop star Danny Minogue, 50, on Saturday posted a photo to Instagram of the pair together, alongside a moving caption. I am devastated to wake up to the news that Shane Warren has passed. My heart breaks for his family and friends, she wrote. He was such a light and energy in the room. He was always lovely to my whole family. He knew that I didn't have a clue about cricket, but he liked that. The host of The Masked Singer Australia went on to reveal the sweet nickname the legendary cricketer had for her. To me, he was just Shane. I can still hear him say, Hey Disco how are you? Danny added. The pair had a long history of friendship, and were even rumored to have dated in 2014. At the time, reports claimed that the athlete was caught in a love triangle between Danny and his ex-wife Simone Callahan. New Idea reported that the fast bowler was being made to choose between the two women, after several photos surfaced on social media of Warren and the younger Minogue sister looking cozy. The friends bumped into each other at the April Logie Awards in Melbourne, with the former The X Factor Australian judge taking several selfies. Minogue and Warren were also linked before, with the singer talking to the Daily Mirror about texting the Australian cricketer back in 2005. The funniest thing is I know nothing about cricket, she told the publication. He keeps saying come to a game and I'm like, I don't know what you do. When asked about a fling with the sports star she added, has got enough to contend with, with his reputation. Neither Warren nor Minogue ever confirmed that they were more than friends. Tributes poured in after Shane Warren was found dead while on holiday in Koh Samui, Thailand on Friday evening. Four friends staying with him battled to save his life for 20 minutes, police have said. The Australian megastar cricketer turned pundit and businessman, and the greatest leg spinner in history, was found unconscious in a villa in the resort. Thai police said that Warren was staying in the villa with four friends, and when one of the group tried to wake Shane for food at around 5 p.m. local time today he was found to be unresponsive. Officers said the friends performed CPR on him for around 20 minutes before an ambulance arrived and took Warren to the Thai International Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Speaking this evening by phone, Police Senior Sergeant Major Supor Nhemru Ongsri said, Police received a report about somebody who died at the Thai International Hospital so we went and asked the hotel, and found out that the deceased was with four other friends and died in the room. In the villa, the people were sleeping in separate rooms. They were sleeping from afternoon to evening, until about 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. somebody came to call out this person for dinner but the deceased did not respond so they called three other friends to perform CPR for 20 minutes. They waited for the ambulance to come. The doctor announced the death of the person at 6.53 p.m. Police went and checked the room and there was no sign of intrusion or possessions being searched through. The body was sent for an autopsy at Kosamui Hospital. Warren's manager separately confirmed his death, saying that the father of three could not be revived. It is with great sadness we advise that Shane Keith Warren passed away of a suspected heart attack in Koh Samui, Thailand today, Friday March 4, a statement from the management company read. The statement added, Shane was found unresponsive in his villa and despite the best efforts of medical staff, he could not be revived. The family requests privacy at this time and will provide further details in due course. Warren is survived by his three children, Jackson, Summer, and Brooke, all of whom he shares with his ex-wife of 10 years Simone Callahan. 
A state funeral for Warren is set to be held in Melbourne, with a date to be confirmed in consultation with the Warren family, Cricket Australia and the Victorian government to ensure it honour Shane's passing and memory.